I'm on the Isle of Skye and I've just taken a boat ride for about 45 minutes to get here and this is a sea lock and it's called Loch Corisk or something and it's just epic it looks like the Lord of the Rings I just can't get enough of this view it's just wonderful I'm here at Neist Point, uh, I think that's how you say it, and it's this lighthouse here which is obviously a really old-fashioned lighthouse that's just beautiful, but the geology here is amazing. Look at all this. There's a very famous spot which a lot of photographers go to up there, which is where you can get a great shot down on the peninsula. And uh, I may go up there a bit later, but we're still about an hour and a half from sunset, so I'm just basically coming down here to just see it, get in it, get some photos. What a place. The sun's starting to set now and look at that. You can just see over the outer Hebrides. It's just behind that cloud which is giving us the most amazing sun beams that are just washing over that island. With this 500 millimeter, I can get really close to three wind turbines, which are over on um, the Outer Hebrides. And the sun setting behind them just creates this amazing, like completely orange, pinky backdrop to those wind turbines. All of the photos on this video have been processed with my Journeys preset pack and if you want to download those and all my other presets just click the link below after this video. There are preset packs there for Lightroom and also for Capture One so do make the most of those. Thanks.
I'm on a really small island called Rasse. It's next to Skye and it's in between Skye and the mainland. So Skye's over there and there are incredible views back um, of the mountains along that kind of edge of Skye. But also here you've got these amazing views back towards the mainland. Just sensational. And I'm using this 500 millimeter prime lens to really capture a few stories and portraits in the landscape. The trouble is, it's where do you point? Everywhere is just so beautiful. I love it. I'm trying to get a photo out there of that fishing trawler because behind it there are some mountains in cloud and I think the whole thing in terms of the color palette looks beautiful from here so I'm just trying to get as close in as I can and just get that shot <laughs> 